Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I know everybody's anxious for spring to get here. I know I am. Don't forget, Sunday morning at 3 a.m., you have to change your clocks. Do it Saturday night. Just set them forward an hour Saturday night before you go to bed so you don't forget Sunday morning. That's the first sign of spring, daylight savings. I've never understood daylight savings. I, you know, I, I just never could understand it. You get an hour extra daylight at night, but an hour less daylight in the morning when you have to get up and go to work. <laughs> it just never made any sense to me. I don't understand it. So I've been drinking decaf coffee and I haven't noticed any change. You know, it's not like I'm jonesing for caffeine or anything else. I've dropped myself down to one pot of coffee a day and I switched over to decaf. And the thing is, I was talking to my brother last night and I told him, I said, you know, I don't need coffee to wake up in the morning. When I wake up, I'm up. And he's like, boy, not me, man. I want to lay there and go back to sleep and everything else. I was like, I've never been that way. When I wake up, I mean, literally like this. I'm laying in bed. When my eyes open, I'm awake. I get out of bed. I don't lay there. I don't lay there and roll over and go, oh, I'm going to try to go back to sleep. And No, when I wake up, I get up. And I'm fully awake. So I've never needed coffee as a crutch to wake up with. I just like coffee. I just really like coffee. It's my addiction. But <clears throat> somebody mentioned that uh, when I get really thirsty, you know, because I said that I'm overhydrating, obviously. So one pot of coffee lasts me all day now for 16 hours. Because now... When my mouth gets dried out, I just take a little sip. I don't take a drink. I don't go look, 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 like I used to. I just take a sip enough to get my mouth wet. And somebody mentioned that uh, when my mouth gets dry, to suck on a piece of candy or something. And it's funny that they mentioned that because I had already, I had already bought these little suckers that I'm keeping right here on the table, and I. And I use these to keep from drinking quite as much. So I can't wait until spring, but by the same token, I want to be in better shape. <laughs> it's becoming a thing with me. Uh, when I first started doing my exercises, it was hard to be motivated. And I started getting really sore and I didn't want to do anything. And I was like, yeah, you know, all I'm doing is tearing. I tried to make excuses not to exercise. But then I'd look at my watch, I'm up time to exercise. And I would go exercise. And I pushed myself to keep exercising. The soreness has gone away. I am increasing my reps, my number of lifts and things like that and I was talking to an expert at the gym and the first expert I talked to was like yeah you're doing great you know just keep doing what you're doing the second one I talked to said look I don't know what this guy's telling you but here's what you need to do he says you need to break your exercises up for every other day he said, so you've got six exercises you do. Do three of those exercises in the morning on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. He says, and don't break it up throughout the day. And he said, you really want to cook those muscles. So, in other words, if I do like a set of curls, is 10 curls with each arm. And I do that four times throughout the day. So I do it at 10, 2, 6, and 10. That's 40 curls with 35 pounds in each arm throughout the day. He says, stop doing that. You're not going to gain anything. 
you're not going to get back in shape. You're going to fry your muscles and you're going to burn out and you're not going to want to do anything after that. He said, so when you get up in the morning, have your coffee, whatever you're going to do, he says, start with your, you know, he says, do these three exercises. He says, do your curls, do a set of 10, do 10 push-ups, and do 10 shoulder shrugs. Then take about a minute or two break, and then do 10 curls, 10 push-ups, and 10 shoulder shrugs, and take a minute or two break, and then do that again. And he said, if you can do 10 on your third set, then you need to do a fourth set. And I was like, well, how is that going to benefit me? He says, because you're keeping those muscles pumping. He said, the difference is if you're just doing a set of 10 and it's easy for you or a set of 20 and it's fairly easy for you and you're just doing that and then you're not doing anything for another four hours, that's fine, but you're going to get fatigued doing that. You're going to get tired of not seeing any results basically. He said, so if you do them in repetition and then that's it for the day, you're not going to burn yourself out. You're still going to feel that burn in the muscles, but now you're going to give those muscles a chance to recover before you do them exercises again. So he told me, he says, do your, your curls, your push-ups, and your shoulder shrugs on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when you get up in the morning, he says do your back arm lifts, your over the head lifts, and your squats. And then in the afternoons, sometime in the afternoons, work on your crunches and your sit-ups and your thing, you know, things like that to work your midsection. You can work your midsection all the time you're not going to hurt it. Your arms will burn out if you work them too hard. Your shoulders, your back muscles, you'll burn them out if you work them too hard. So I'm going to take his advice because even though I feel like I'm getting results, I want to do what the experts tell me to do so that I can see results. I want to get rid of the belly fat completely. I want it gone, you know, and I want to get back in shape. So I'm going to listen to what the expert tells me. Apparently the other gentleman that works up there does more endurance training. So with him telling me that it's okay to do what I'm doing four times a day, that was fine if I didn't increase my repetitions. If I was just doing you know, a set of 10 each time, that would be fine. And that's what the expert told me. He said, that would be fine if you're just doing it for endurance, you know, to be able to pick up 35 pounds all day long or something like that. He said, we have warehouse workers that, or people that want to work in a warehouse that need to be able to pick up 80 pounds consistently all day long. We specifically train them for lifting from the floor to a counter or to a conveyor belt. We specifically train muscles in them to be able to consistently lift 80 pounds all day long. But they're not gonna, they're, they're only working specific muscles designated for that type of job. He said, if that's what you're doing, then what you're doing is fine. If you want to get in shape, like you were when you, and I showed him some pictures of me when I was doing tree service work, and he said, if you want that body back, you need to listen to what I'm telling you and you need to do things the way I'm telling you. And I said, I want this body back. So I'm going to listen to the expert. Because short of going back to work doing trees, to get that body back, short of doing that, the only other thing I can do is exercise at home. So that's what I'm going to do. So... I'm not sure if I got off on a tangent or not. I might have. <laughs> anyway, the point of this video is that 
we don't know everything. So we need to listen to the experts. So if your dentist tells you, in your immediate dentures, if your dentist tells you you're just gonna have to wear your dentures to get used to them and build up some toughness in your gums to quit having sores, then that's what you need to do. If your dentist tells you stop wearing the dentures for a few days and let the sores heal, then that's what you need to do. We all think we know more than the learned doctors. And in some cases we do, like Well, like my exercising, for example, when the doctors told me, and this was before I got this doctor, my previous doctors told me, oh, don't lift anything heavy, don't even pick up a gallon of milk, don't, don't pick up a gallon of water with that arm, you're going to irritate that nerve, you're going to hurt that nerve, it's going to send pain down your arm every time you pick up something heavy. Well, I did that for as long as I could possibly stand it, and I finally had to start doing something, and I'm improving because of it. And this doctor, the one I'm going to now, it's a female doctor, she actually talks to me, not at me. She talks to me. She asks me questions. She writes things down. She keeps notes. She discusses things with me. She doesn't just talk at me, which is awesome. So, some doctors are awesome. They're phenomenal. You got to find the right one. <laughs> All right, my friends, that's it for today. I hope everybody has an amazing day. I hope it doesn't warm up too fast because I want to be proud to look at myself in a t-shirt again. So, you know, I kind of been hiding my gut all winter. And I'm not fat, fat. I'm a little overweight, but I don't like the gut. So, I'm hoping that by the time I don't have to wear long sleeve shirts anymore, that the gut will be gone and I'll be in a little bit better shape and I can be proud to be in a t-shirt and I'll know that I look okay in a t-shirt. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a narcissist. I don't know. I doubt it. Because honestly, I never care what people think, but I care what I think. I care what I think. You know, it's like, with my dentures. I love my dentures. And I really don't care if people like them or not. I love my dentures. They're beautiful. Not only are they beautiful, but they're functional. I can eat with them. <laughs> they're functional. Um, aside from that, I don't like the way my body looks right now because I've always been in really good shape. So getting out of shape and looking like I'm out of shape really kind of got to me. And knowing that I couldn't do anything because the doctor said don't, and I just kept getting in worse and worse shape. And now I have a doctor telling me it's okay as long as you're not hurting yourself. You do what you feel you need to do. Your body knows what it needs. If your body says exercise, then exercise. So that's awesome. All right, that's it, my friends. I don't know if this helps anybody, but I hope everybody has an amazing day. I hope you never forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.